For there will never cease to be needy ones in your land, which is why I command you, open your hand to the poor and needy kinsmen in your land. And then I did a collage of the drives. And then my translation was giving guidance to the needy well, because sure. they need it the most. They need it the most because they can't buy the rest of food or items. Why is it a Jewish value? Because you should get to people who are less fortunate. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm Alex, and my, my uh, commandment is not to slay an innocent person from Exodus 20, 13. And so for my project, I did a kind of little drawing. Okay. So I'm sure you can go up or slay them. You can go up to them and greet them. So how is the Jewish value? Well, because like this looking thing in Jerusalem right now, and I don't know what I'm saying. My commandment is to honor your father and mother. Even though it says to honor father and mother. Um, the translation is to be respectful, to, t to care, to love your, to love your parents. And what I did was like um, I separated the mother and father into two parts of the paper. I wrote kind of things about them, like loving them. And it's a Jewish commandment because you should always like love your parents if they're giving you a hard time or whatever. And my commandment was not to refrain from maintaining a poor man and giving him what he needs. And I did a wordle and and some of the words were money, poor, Jewish, man, food others. This I chose this command because one of my goals is to help stop world hunger. And I chose this design because it shows different things that go with this commandment. And I learned that um, I should not stop a man from getting what he needs. It's much value because it's important for Jews to be respectful to others and this is being respectful. Context. This means <coughs> you have to hope and respect the old as well as God. Um, you just right. love all human beings that are of the covenant. So I did a poem, and it said, and um, this is it: Love all people of the covenant because they are equal to you. Love all people of the covenant because you want to be loved too. Love all people of the covenant because they are significant to you. Love all people of the com covenant because they have a purpose too. Love all people of the covenant because their lives have meaning to someone other than you. And my translation was, you should love and respect other Jews and other people. We're all made in the image of God, which means we're all equal. So if we're all equal, then everyone should be loved. I chose a commandment from Exodus 2014. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his male or female slave, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. I did a word collage with all the synonyms for covet. From this commandment, I learned that even in times like before what we've experienced with like everyone being jealous of everything else, like even then God already knew that we needed to have this commandment. Um, my commandment was do not take revenge, and it was Leviticus 19.18. And my project was a poem, 
and um, I can read it to you now. Whether he steals your pencil case or calls you a mean name, do not get back at him. It will end up in an even bigger fight. It will be endless. Say I'm sorry and leave it be. If he persists, ignore him. Look on with your life. Do not take revenge. I made it because people could see the meaningful phrases again. During this time, I learned that it doesn't matter what someone does to you. You should not get back at them. People can learn the exact same thing I did. Just do not take revenge. It's not um, that hard. I'm, I, Lord, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And I have a picture of a person escaping from pyramids, which was stripped from Egypt and slavery. And Morgan Freeman is God to watch Bruce Almighty. So it shows that God is always there to help, even when it doesn't seem like it. He will always be there because he helps people escape. So maybe the belief in God, yeah. that you should always have belief in God, is that it's comfort for you? Yeah. My commandment was, uh, do not sell Hebrew slaves, I mean servants as slaves. Text Leviticus 25, 42. Uh, their servants and uh, their owner is getting ready to celebrate Shabbat, but they don't have enough money for everything, so the man who owns the servants goes and asks this guy who has a lot of money for Shabbat supplies, but he wants one of the servants as a slave in return, so the guy declines and then uh, goes somewhere else that's farther and takes more time, but gets the supplies without having to give away the servants. I personally think that a servant is someone that is kind of, who's kind of like a slave that helps you but still gets treated fairly like you and so I feel like and I feel very strongly about servitude and I feel that no one should be treated that way and that everyone is equal so I decided to do this topic and I feel that my skit shows that everyone's lives are equally important. After in my commandments is agriculture and annual husbandry. It means if you, you should not crossbreed animals, which means you cannot cause a pig and a snake to become a half pig, half snake. I also I learned that this commandment is against crossbreeding animals, and you can learn the meaning of the words agriculture and animal husbandry, husbandry, sorry, which too means the concerning of crossbreeding animals. My commandment is not to swear needlessly, and I found out just a bunch of scenarios. I cho chose this commandment because I hear this in the hallways in my school, and it is completely <coughs> unnecessary, and there's no point of really swearing, and they just, just don't do it, because they sound cool. Okay, and nobody likes it when you're swearing. Like, even when you're the one who's swearing, it doesn't really feel good to be saying something extremely bad to someone, because swear, there's like bad words and then there's swear words. Swear words are like 20 times worse than bad words. So. This is, I think it's related to Jewish. It's a Jewish thing because, like, when you're swearing, like, you're swearing as in, um, because God created you, and if you're swearing, it's like making him feel bad for like creating something that does that bad thing to humans.